hey guys welcome to my channel and today's video we are going to discuss about top angular 13 feature because angular 13 has been released and it is coming with a lot of new good features and yeah of course some breaking changes so we'll discuss about all those things in today's video so let's continue with that so guys so first of all we'll talk about uh, top angular 13 features that we have <clears throat> so i have prioritized these 10 features that is really awesome and we are going to discuss about all those 10 features just in a moment and after that we'll discuss about the additional features that we have in angular 13 then we have some breaking changes yeah so this is we will discuss in the end and after that of course we, we are we will talk about what to expect from angular 14 which is going to be released in coming months and believe me guys angular 14 is going to be just crazy so just don't forget to watch till the end and at the end i'll tell you how can we upgrade the application to angular 13 so stay tuned let's continue with that so this video will bring you closer to the most important new features and breaking changes in angular 13 and help you decide whether an update your project is worthwhile or not so let's I discuss about all these 10 features that we prioritize from angular 13 that can or that may can break uh, the your application and can give you the very good features as well so the first thing the goodbye view engine and 100 percent iv so angular has introduced its next generation compilation and rendering pipeline iv since its version 8 angular 9 has used iv by default while maintaining support for the uh, predecessor compiler and running view engine the new version of the framework is now 100 percent iv so streamlined and modernized the angular package format view engine specific metadata and older output formats are now removed which will reduce maintenance cost and the complexity of the code base in angular 13. all internal tools are converted to iv beforehand so that the changes should work smoothly IV compiles individual components more independently of one another, uh, which improves development. So the use of NGCC compiler, which is Angular Compatibility compiler, compiler, is no more required for libraries built with the latest version of the uh, APF. So this will offer a faster execution for libraries and developers. <coughs> uh, so the second feature is uh, Ergonomics API. So what, did, what does it mean basically? So basically the load time is reduced in angle 13 with the help of uh, ergonomics code splitting apis and granular code breakdown at a component level a performance improvement was also achieved with the introduction of es build and extremely for javascript bundler so es build works now with test with tercer basically to optimize globally script and supports CSS source maps, which enables optimized global CSS. <clears throat> so let's talk about the next feature, which is no more support for IE 11. So I'll say, I mean, it is good for everyone, but the thing is, it is going to be a big deal for the people who has to support Internet Explorer still. So they cannot, so of course, they cannot upgrade to the Angular, uh, Angular 13 for now, because Angular 13 has uh, completely removed the support for IE 11. So basically to benefit from native web apis and modern browser features such as web animations and css variables the angular team has removed the internet explorer 11 support so this offers a small bundle size and faster load for apps and an improved user experience because of the absence of ie specific polyfills and no need for different loading this breaking change will certainly affect authorities or institutions that still use IE 11 and has and have not yet switched to Microsoft Edge or any other modern browser. <clears throat> so let's talk about the next thing, uh, which is update of component APIs. So this one is cool one. You can now create dynamic components with less boilerplate code. Thanks to the an improvement of new container reference dot create component API. <clears throat> So here is the old way of creating dynamic components. So here you can see that in the code, we used to create component factory, first of all, with the use of uh, component factory resolver. But now we no longer need this component factory resolver anymore in this uh, uh, <coughs> to create a dynamic components. We can directly pass the component data to the container to create component now instead of passing the uh, component factory. So it will basically internally do that for you. 
uh, but from your side you don't have to do anymore which is really good it now let's talk about so now let's talk about the next feature which is improved debugging and test time so testbed is the primary unit test api for angular application and libraries in order to decrease the test time in testbed the new version is released with an improved test api the framework can now set up and tear down the test environment and learn the dom automatically after each test runs this leads to the faster less memory intensive and better isolated tests <clears throat> which is awesome so the next feature is new types for form and angular 13 has introduced a new type for forms which is form control status it is a union of all possible status strings for form controls so the type of abstraction dot status for example is now form status instead of a string <clears throat> and uh, the type of status changes is observable and we have to pass forms control status as a type instead of observable as any so the next changes with the router api so there is an improvement for the router so that it will not replace the browser url when new navigation cancel ongoing navigation so there is a proposition to fix an incorrect parsing for navigation this happened when the default url serialize drops everything afterward like question mark in query parameters like this for example you can add missing outlet events to router outlet contract uh, which is useful when the when the modules federation renders component dynamically at some point of the feature next change is about accessibility so there is an access there is so there is an accessibility ia 11 y improvement in angular material so all material design components have been checked for better accessibility so checkbox and radio buttons are examples uh, here you can see that have now larger touch sizes basically they have increased the paddings in between the uh, options and uh, so you can see that uh, the if you if you are if you are loading your application on mobile device you will have more space to click on a particular element apart from this there are a few other changes that we have in this framework like uh, uh, the framework covers now supports the typescript 4.34 which is cool now you can use all the uh, 4.4 features in your angular application of typescript after that we have version 7 of the react team programming language which is really cool because rxjs 7 has basically added a lot of new features in this rxjs library you will be able to use all this feature in your code now and inline fonts speed up the uh, fcp basically first content full paint uh, it is like a it is it is basically to improve the web performance and that's why the team has introduced now supporting of inline adobe fonts just like they did in uh, for inlining google fonts in angular 11. <clears throat> so we can disable or enable built-in validators such as min max and min length dynamically now uh, we can set custom conditions in ng packages now then there is an improvement of error message like the error about a missing animation trigger for the platform browser package clear service workers cache in the safety worker this ensure that broken on this state the content will not be served in the future request improvement of the localization api you can check the documentation for localizations so the new release of angular frameworks came with exciting features if your requirements are not dependent on internet explorer 11 then then you have the chance to update to angular 13 more easily by just running the ng update command in your project in angular 14 you might see the standalone component directive in pipes so making angular ng module optional so which is going to be a huge change by the angular so currently ng module is currently one of the core component in angular so developers new to angular needs to learn more about the concept before getting out even the simple possible hello world application so more importantly the modules unit of the careers and all those things they are planning to remove the entire things here you can check it out so yeah so th there are three major changes that i see that it is coming in angular 14 so the first thing is the better typing for angular forms so these changes will affect on reactive forms uh, type models and will make type checking much more stricter than before the second thing is independent components from modules i have already shown you this thing uh, so they are making these changes so probably we will have ng module as an optional in angular 14 
and after that uh, the third big change which is coming is angular 14 is going to support the micro front end which is really 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 awesome and uh, to find it for and to find out why it is cool and why angular is perfect framework for it uh, i'll create one more video on it let me know if you're exciting about it in the comment section so basically webpack has already ap approached the future after introducing the module federation it let you to have a, a multiple separated build in a single application uh, so the team from nx also integrated it into their command line which made it easier to bootstrap macro frontend applications so the last important thing is that all these tools are perfectly combined with angular architecture and uh, if you're curious about how to build it yourself i'm going to make one more video on this to how to basically build angular micro frontend with ngrx state sharing and next cli so you may say that this is all cool but what we can expect from the angular team in the next release so currently they are working on investigation the best abstraction to have better support for micro frontend so it is understandable as such support will require huge legacy changes in the core of the angular framework this investigation includes looking closely into independent development as well as the development of large scale micro frontend application and finding ways to integrate them with the angular architecture we may only guess that they work with the webpack team and nx team to make the integration process more productive so the conclusion is there is very little information of the if the micro frontend will be supported in angular 14 or any other upcoming release and they will be definitely the big thing in angular and for the whole frontend community in the journal it is also obvious that such a big step can not be done in a short time on the other hand the angular team is always paying attention and reacts to the community needs and feedbacks so i hope if you would uh, so i hope so basically angular came up with the angular micro frontend feature in the coming releases which is going to be very cool so thank you guys thank you so much for watching the video and uh, that's all for this session uh, see you in the next one have a good day bye take care don't forget to subscribe the channel if you like this video like uh, so if you learn something from this video please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and <clears throat> so see you in the next one have a good day bye